Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you these LED flame effect bulbs in a flame-shaped bulb. Anyway, I was contacted by this company right here, LED Era Direct, if I pronounce their name correctly, and they asked me if I could review this product for them. And, of course, it's relevant to this channel since it's lighting, so here it is. If you would like to, well, get these, there is a link in the description down below in addition to a discount code, which I believe is good for a limited time. So if it doesn't work, way, way in the future, you understand why. Anyway, usually these bulbs come in the shape of a cylinder, like this one. That's usually how you see them. But here, they're inside of a, um, well, flame bulb with a candelabra base. So let's go ahead and take a look at, well, one of the boxes, since they're all the same. They come in a pack of four. And on the side, we can see it comes in both the American and the European base, the candelabra and their E14 has just one mode, so it doesn't have the three modes or four modes like some of the others. On the side we have some information detailed specifically about this product. We'll test some of these out like two watts and all that on our meter a little bit later. And that's pretty much it for the packaging, so let's go ahead and open it up. And there's the bulb itself. Now the first thing I noticed is that there's no markings on the bulb for information, but uh, it definitely has a distinct look to it compared to a standard um, bulb. Anyway, here I have a CFL for comparison, so you have an idea of what it looks like, in addition to an ordinary neon flicker flame bulb. So you also have a comparison there. Now this is a smaller one. They do come bigger than this, but that's the, what I have on hand. And of course it has the uh, extra collar here because they use the same enclosure for both bases so they can easily change that in manufacturing. So let's go ahead and turn it on so we can see what it does. There we go. And it definitely has a flame effect. It looks like it has three sides to it in there. I can hear a little bit of a noise coming from it. I'm guessing that's a power supply. So to test that theory, we're gonna take out another one. And let's put that one in and see if it's any different. Nope, it has a little bit of noise, and I'm thinking that's coming from the power supply itself. Maybe you can hear that. But if this was in a chandelier way up high, or in an outdoor fixture where you're not next to it listening to it, I think it would be just fine. But here we have one, two, and three sides. Of course, we'll turn off the light to get an example, and I'll show it here in some different fixtures. So here's two of the bulbs inside of this table lamp that I have, and they do provide a nice flame effect. Now, one thing that it does say on their website, and I would recommend as well, is putting these inside of a diffused fixture, something where you can't see the bulb directly. Therefore, it would spread out the flame effect a little more evenly throughout the fixture, and you wouldn't see it directly like you would here. So it would look a lot more like there's a fire inside of the fixture versus just the bulb itself in this example. Here's an example of the bulb behind a diffused surface. As you can tell, it definitely spreads out the effect a bit more. But here, you do still get a nice flame effect from just the bulbs themselves. And I think most applications with these candelabra bases are chandeliers or outdoor fixtures that uh, use the bulbs in this particular way. Here's a zoomed out shot, and it's not as bright as the camera is showing, but it definitely lights up the area a decent amount. Here's a comparison with the older neon flicker flame. These neon bulbs have been around for a very long time, and they're my personal favorite. I do like that they're nice and dim and easy to use as a nightlight, for example. But if you're looking for a brighter option, these LED versions are much better. And here's both neons, so you have a comparison. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more detailed information here. This is my current voltage coming through the outlet. 
And we can see how many amps it's using, barely anything. It's 1.5 watts. Of course we have 60 hertz. There's its power factor, not too impressive. And our volt amps there as well. Yeah, 0.5, that's what I was guessing by what's inside. So, let's go ahead and see what is inside. If we can, anyway. That screws right off. So, there's the magic. Very typical of bulbs like this. Um, LEDs on a bendable... Um, board and then they put it inside so very common um, idea now it might be energized so i'm gonna see if i can move it around like this and there's a the power supply looks like a pretty basic led driver there i'll go ahead and put it back in that just sits right in there. And I suppose we could show it just like this, but you have to be very careful because you don't want to get shocked. But we can give an example of what it's doing. And there you go. There's even an LED on the top. So cool. I really do hope you enjoyed this video of these LED Era Direct LED Flame Effect flame shaped bulbs. It's interesting to finally see them inside of a different enclosure than the regular cylinder. The only downside of this particular one here is the high pitch noise that comes from the power supply. Other than that, it does have a very nice flame effect, and it's definitely in a shape with the correct candelabra base that many fixtures that this would be applicable in use. So it's a fantastic product with a fantastic idea. It just needs to not have the high pitch noise of the power supply. But like I said, other than that, it's great. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.